on tap. Moo juice, oatmeal milk stout. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a comment below. That was my tribute to Adam Yock, y'all. I want to say thanks to Todd IG from Burnsville, Minnesota for sending us today's beer. We really, truly appreciate your contribution and love it when our viewers help us experience beers that we can't get on our own. Today, we are talking about Moo Juice Oatmeal Milk Stout from the Brow Brothers Brewing Company in Lucan, Minnesota. The brewery was started in 2006. One unique aspect to this brewery is that they grow their own hops and two-row barley. They even malt the barley. This sweet stout is a mix between a milk stout and an oatmeal stout. It is 5.8% ABV and is probably best enjoyed out of a pint or English pint. The brewery says to look for milk chocolate, coffee, anise, and toffee in the flavor. They also add a British cask ale yeast, which they claim adds some dark fruit to the flavor. Let's see what the guys find in their blind taste test of this beer. Chef, what are your initial impressions of this beer? Well, James, the initial impressions, I think, I mean, it's, it's definitely, you know, dark, uh, nice, heavy flavor to it. Um, it's, it's thick, it's creamy, uh, it's, got, it's got some nice uh, kind of roasted notes to it. Uh, it has some licorice kind of sweetness uh, to it as well. Uh, I think it's a good, it's, you know, it's a nice representation of a good dark beer. Okay. Joby, what flavors are sticking out for you? Uh, I think it's got a little bit of like a molasses, licorice, black licorice taste. Um, but I also, for me, I, I get a little bit of a, of a smoky taste on the back end. Like it's a smoky or roasted type flavoring. So, Mike, um, would you call this for an aromatic beer? Um, it's not overly aromatic, but you can get a little of a uh, nice sweet aroma in it. Um, and that sweetness really carries over to when you actually take a taste. Um, is that toffee that I smell? Does mm -hmm. anybody have an opinion on that? I don't know if it's toffee or caramel or butterscotch. Yeah. Butterscotch. You said butterscotch. butterscotch. Yeah, I think I think more on the lines of because it's got that that buttery kind of creaminess to it as well as that caramel. That's why I think butterscotch. Whenever this is uh, five point eight percent ABV. Do you think for you know, a beer of that ABV, you're getting a good amount of flavor out of that, Chef? Yeah, I think you're getting quite a bit of flavor. Um, the, I mean, the alcohol con alcohol flavor does not is not in the forefront of it. Uh, you do get quite a bit of flavor in the actual beer itself. Um, I think this is, like, it's, it's, this is a heavy, complex beer. I mean, there's a lot of flavor going on. Uh, it's almost... To, for me, it's not not that it is fatiguing, but it's almost on, like, I would only drink probably one or two of these. Joby, this is an oatmeal milk stout. Are you picking up, like, any of the creaminess that you would associate with having oats in the beer? I mean, saying it's a milk stout, I can, I can see the creaminess, but the oatmeal, I mean, I don't personally know what oatmeal or the oats add to the flavor compile complication. Composition. Of a beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, it is creamy like uh, some other milk stouts that I've had, um, but I don't think it's as, as good a tasting as some of the other oatmeal stouts that I've had. I don't know that I've ever had an oatmeal milk stout. Yeah, but it's it's interesting. How do knowing that it's an oatmeal milk stout, how does that you know affect like your thoughts on this beer? Uh, I'm not really picking up what I would expect to pick up from an oatmeal base of a beer, um, so maybe it's just a little bit that they added on later, but it definitely has a little bit of an acidic twinge that you get with a milk stout, so I can understand that being part of this. Okay, let's get some quick ratings and reveal this beer. Chef? You know, I think I'm going to give this <clears throat> probably a solid seven. I think this is a good, a good drinkable beer. I mean, I, I kind of disagree. It, it does have, it has the characteristics of both. The oatmeal style, you got, it, you got a slight creaminess and the sweetness to it, and then you have the, the acidic uh, flavor of the milk stout. I think the milk stout portion of it is a little bit more prevalent, but you do get that, 
it, it, the oats add a different flavor, so it's not quite a milk stout, not quite an oatmeal stout. It's leaning more towards the milk stout portion of it. But yeah, I think it's a solid beer. Seven. Okay, Joseph. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go five on this, James. Five. Wow. Yeah. I, did I not mean, see that coming. You didn't? No. Why? That's. I'm just feeling a five right now. I don't know. I mean, you having a bad day? I don't think. I don't think <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you like to drink beer anymore? I do like to drink beer, but again, this. You'd move on after. I this. would move on after this. I okay. mean, it's not. Again, I don't know if I'm too big of a hop head these days, but these. Uh, did, did, wait a minute, Joby, <laughs> Joby, Joby J. All just just now said he's too big of a hop head. Before, he couldn't even stand drinking any hoppy That's beer. Right. And now, all of a sudden, he's a hop head. It, it happens. But, uh, you know. What do you think this beer would have rated for you two years ago? Two years ago, it would have been probably up there, like a seven or eight. Okay. Mike, this is growing on me. Is it growing on you? What's your rating? Uh, I think it's pretty nice. It has some interesting flavors. I really like the licorice flavor that you get out of it. Uh, it does have a nice creamy mouthfeel, um, but the acidity is a little too much for me, so I'm going to stick with a 7 rather than, you know, a higher 8. Now here is a beer you've never heard of. Moo Juice mm -hmm. Oatmeal Milk Stout from Bra Brothers Brewing Company in Lucan, Minnesota. I'm going to Lucan! Population 220. Chef... Moo juice. What is your overall big picture on this beer? I do think, I mean, again, for uh, representation of the style, you're talking about an oatmeal milk stout. Uh, again, like I said before, it's not quite a milk stout. It's not quite an oatmeal stout. It's a good representation of the style. You get, uh, you get the flavor composition of both beers. Um, but I do agree that, I mean, there, there, there is some acidity that's a, that's, that has... Uh, a little bit of kind of a, 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 a tougher flavor that's left in your mouth at the end of the, the drink. But other than that, I mean, I think this is a pretty solid beer. It's a good drinkable, drinkable beer. And actually, I was just in Minnesota. I was World going traveler. To, I was going to, I was going to actually stop by uh, there, stop by Brow Brothers Brewing Company. Really? Yeah, because I drove, we drove right through uh, Luca, Minnesota. Uh, and uh, to, to, I have family lives up there, but anyways. Um, <laughs> that is really important for our that, viewers. That's another show. Yeah, that's, an, that's, a, that's a whole other episode. I mean, we can talk about my family for hours. But yeah, and, and, and I do now, I regret not stopping uh, and, and taking a chance to, to get a little bit more uh, familiar with this. I think it's a pretty solid beer. Joby, uh, w the main milk stout that always sticks out in my mind, first thing I hear of is left-hand milk stout. Would you think you'd go for a left-hand milk stout, or would you go for this first? I'd probably go with the left-hand milk stout, just because I've had that more. I mean, noth I mean, I'm sure if I lived in Lucan, Minnesota, or somewhere up there in Minnesota, I'd probably, you know, have a liking to Lucan, but I don't. Um, I wonder if it's Lucan. Lucan, Lucan. <laughs> but, you know, I think this is another example of uh, the blind taste test, you know, doing wonders, because... You know, Moo Juice, that's a catchy name, Moo Juice Oatmeal Milk Stout. If I saw that on the store, at the sto on the shelves at the store, I'd be, you know, intrigued to pick it up. Um, sounds, you know, it's a good name, it's a catchy name, and the, the marketing of the beer, I think they're doing a good job. Yeah, Mike, does the, the marketing match the beer? Um, I think so. I think the marketing Moo Juice, you think of milk, um, and I think of this as more of a milk stout than in the oatmeal portion of that. Uh, I'm sure the oatmeal is meant to contribute more to the mouthfeel and the creaminess than it is towards the overall overall flavor profile of it. So I can see this as, you know, matching what they're advertising. All right. Moo Juice gets a 6.3 on the BBA scale. Stop by Lucan. Or is it Lucan? We don't know. I'm going to Lucan. That's for you, Dave. Uh, <laughs> let us know what you think of this beer in the comment section if you could possibly get your hands on it. It's kind of a got a narrow reach here, folks. But I love you. I'm James Dot, and this, don't forget to subscribe, is your better beer authority. Better beer authority.